All right, so we're back with the only game that features a protagonist with a slight bit of leprosy. It's Hobo Tough Life. Hobo Tough Life is the most accurate homeless simulator ever made, and it just got that much better because there's a huge update. Apparently there's like a million new things. I know, how could homelessness get any better? So I learned something just now that is probably the greatest thing that you could possibly learn as a homeless person to craft. And quite frankly, it just shows how the devs think, like where the importance meter of the devs is. Is it like, you know, a hepatitis shot? Absolutely not. Over to the crafting area, damn it. I can make a toilet. It's called the throne. <laughs> Level one toilet, baby. Apparently I can make a drinking lounge now as well. Why would I want to make anything else besides a full liquor bar as a homeless person? Regularly generates useful items like alcoholism. <laughs> On top of all this, I guess they added a dog. Um, we have to get the dog. A dog to a homeless person is like a Pokemon. It's like a Tamagotchi or something like that. Like, the more you care for it, the better it evolves. It'll protect you and keep you safe. Plus, when you start feeling a little bit weakened, it won't eat you. Because that's a real problem. As usual, you always want to check the friggin' drink machines over here. Dog aside, I can't just, like, ignore this. What do you need for this? Rum, vodka, canned beer, useful junk. We have most of this. Like, we could probably build this. 20 cans of beer, Jesus. And a vodka. It's not hobo tough life until Gray starts burning garbage in a freaking garbage can, though. Needs slightly more useful junk. I don't actually know what useful junk is compared to regular junk. I can only imagine what the hell epic junk is. It just looks like some sprockets and some bean cans. And like, is that a cigarette with some cloth around it? I really don't know what half of this is. Oh, apparently I have a winning lottery ticket to sell. Okay. I don't remember if I need these, but quite honestly, there's nothing wrong with having a bunch of rum on you. Need like 10 more beer cans, which are super cheap. And the vodka. I'm pretty sure we need to go to a legitimate store to get the vodka. As surprising as it is, it's pretty hard to find around these parts. 40 freaking coins out of the drink machine. I'm telling you, these things are fantastic. Yep. Vodka just sitting in the mall. Pretty much everywhere you go. I, I can't think of a big store that doesn't- What is this? Washing powder? What the hell is washing powder? Packaged chicken. This is a bunch of new stuff. And of course, a classic staple over here in Hobo Tough Life paint thinner. You always want to make sure to have at least one to two cans of paint thinner on you. And it's not to thin paint. Oh, vodka's expensive, but whatever. All right, well, the coast is clear. In order to make some money, we're going to have to commit a few felonies. Mmm, herbs. Not for rolling. For brewing. Yay! I don't know what that does, but we're slightly better at dumpster diving now. I think it allows me to resist even more hypodermic needles when we're looking through feces and stuff. I feel like I have the absolute best constitution that a homeless person could have at this point. Welcome to Dumpster Diving Simulator 2019. Uh, you're gonna notice the high-res dumpster items that we have these days. I can only say that the dumpsters have gotten even better than I remember them. Ooh, public transport ticket. Man, who the hell leaves two bottles of whiskey just sitting around the dumpster? Spectacular finding. Okay. Hey! Enter through the back door, leave with a bunch of scrap iron. Now, normally thieving will make you slightly sad, but I don't have any morals anymore. Our homeless guy is so overpowered. We're like the Hancock of homeless people, okay? Like, we're superhuman. I can't even tell you how skilled we are at this point. I have been homelessing for quite some time now. You're not gonna wanna lump us in with your average hobo. You are in alcohol addiction risk. Uh, how the hell have I not been addicted to alcohol this whole time? I literally drink so much alcohol. I'm not gonna lie. Condom or jewelry. Both of these things seem pretty important, but I guess we'll go with the jewelry. The freaking printer? What the hell? And a storage trunk. Okay, so yeah, there's a tricycle. What, this is like something out of Saw. An anvil? What the hell do you make at the anvil? I kind of want to buy this just because I want to know. <sighs> we'll buy it. I'm gonna buy this kettle as well. Like I said, I don't know what it does, but I feel like I need it. Oh, whatever, we'll buy everything new as a freaking printer. What does a homeless person need with that? Oh, I thought of a new recipe, okay. IT department. <laughs> what? What the? Sadly, no internet connection. What the hell is this? So you could become you could become a YouTube gamer, homeless. It's fantastic. It looks like it looks like it's exactly like my computer station. Computer, desk, sad chair, and a bunch of chips and stuff just sitting at my feet. There it is. 
Drax has a friggin' dog. I don't think I'm allowed to kidnap his. So there's usually like some sort of awful quest that you have to do. Right now I'm utilizing his fire because Drax has basically unlimited garbage to burn. I don't know, maybe it's all the previous dogs that he had before this one. Here we go, baby. Triple A dialogue asking if that's his dog. Nope, comes here to play poker. Try asking around the gypsy slum. They know how to get a dog, but you don't want to know what for. What sort of demonetization worthy reasons are there to have a dog besides for guarding, Drax? Please tell me. This dude can teach you how to make picklocks? Okay. Hello there, well animated dog. How are you? Do you? Are you considered an asset? Can I literally just walk right on top of you? I, it's not very... Drax, I don't know what to tell you, man. I think your dog may be catatonic. I mean, I have some extra antidepressants if you think it'll help. All right, a few things. First off, I gotta blow chunks out of my ass. Second off, I think this is the gypsy slum. Yep, sure is. I feel like everything in this update has been made to slowly drain me of my friggin' funds. Here's your goddamn money. Who the hell is Vanga? Is this a thing? I guess it's a fortune teller. My fortune is I just got screwed out of 300 coins. I'm gonna tell you something right here. I love it when the astral power of the netherworld has been utilized to cleanse my thick aura. <laughs> oh my god, I got cleansed twice. I like that out of all the updates that have come out, everyone still smokes road chalk. Yes. That's how you make that money. I don't really know if this lady would like vaping considering she's smoking something the size of a summer sausage, but I can try. It worked. You ain't getting my printer, but I'll sell you a used condom. Okay, it's friggin' time. You have to buy the epic garbage. I, I, I think you can make it too, but I just bought it. But I had a bunch of stuff to sell, so we're not that bad in the hole. I pray to God that when I click on this, if I screw this up, it doesn't take all of my resources and make them go away. If it does, I'm gonna cry, like forever. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, God! Y'all must know about the mother frickin' drinking lounge that's coming up in here. Mm. Put a kettle on that bitch too. Again, not sure what the anvil does, we'll throw that down. And I even managed to get a friggin' toilet. Actually, one of the guys had it for sale, <laughs> but I managed to get a toilet out of the thing. There was like, there's like a, um, a shopping cart too. I might even pick that up. Oh, the toilet is only one of the pieces of the damn throne. I need to get this other crap. Time to go make more money. Actually, I did have that short stint over at Radio Shack. I think I, we can repair things. Made a vacuum cleaner. I don't know, maybe it's worth something. What the hell? This is the most horrifying image I've ever found in a pile of trash. That baby needs to get out of this image. It's like something out of Annabelle or something. I'm starving, but I've got to make room for all the food I'm about to eat. This is one of my favorite places. At least I got the deluxe toilet paper. <laughs> These dumpsters right here are responsible for a lot of my income. Like, I spend at least part of my day at these three dumpsters every day. All right, vacuum cleaner's coming in handy. Boom. You can burn a sandwich. It's freaking blasphemy. You can burn a Snickers bar? Look, dude, from one man to another, you don't mind if I grab your ham sub, do you? Dog meal. I feel like this might be useful. I'm gonna go ahead and steal this right as the police officer walks by. What could go wrong? Nothing, apparently. More dog food? Okay. This is for our upcoming dog. Again, if I don't get that dog, I'm gonna be pissed. You got my freaking dog yet? No, Are God, you serious? Please, no. Wait. I want 300 crowns. I already gave you three. Wait a second. This math doesn't add up. You all better appreciate the freaking financial agony I'm going through to get this freaking dog. Yes! I actually did get a dog. So what does it do? Do I have to deploy it? Is it, is it already working? Damn it, I'm freezing over here. <laughs> Whatever, since you jacked me over on the dog, I'm stealing all your sh**. Thanks for the textiles, noobs. You know what? After I'm pulling everything out of their place, I think that this was a worthwhile deal. What the hell is that? What is this? I don't know what this is. A bunch of books. Oh, I think that's part of what we need for the throne. Yoink. Anything inside of the liquor store? No. Release dog. <laughs> like... He still gets to stay with us, right? Here we go. Let's find out. Oh, there he is. You can talk to him. Interact? I don't know. Cuddle? What the hell? Uh... Okay, having the dog meal was amazing. I see how this works. That's right. Let me run you friggin' ragged. That's how dogs learn to trust humans. Here, bark for me. Fantastic. Some of these things are really... Like, stroke? <laughs> 
Come on. What am I even throwing? Like, the only thing I have in my pockets that this that this dog might want is like a couple of dead birds and a dead cat. No, for real, I have some dead birds and a dead cat. Oh, I do have a dead rat as well. All right, creature. I don't want to stroke you because this feels really bad. So I'm going to do the cuddle thing. Let's see what it does. Heating level one. Okay. I feel like Luke Skywalker with the Tauntaun. Like, I... <laughs> It's almost like you're slicing the dog open and just sleeping inside of it. No, legit, all we need is just two of the epic chunks in order to build the throne. So I guess I'm gonna go get some money and then we'll do that. If I get some money, I mean I'm gonna screw some people over by telling them that they're ugly whores, which is how this game works. I don't know. The communication of people in this game is somewhat strange. Doesn't matter how old or how much money you make or where you live or where you work, everyone needs condoms and bottle cap openers. I just stole this public transportation ticket and sold it back to the same guy I stole it from. Like, that's possibly the most efficient trade I've ever done in my life. You imagine that going down, being like, hey, I happen to have this public transport ticket on me, and the guy's like, oh man, it's all right, I already got it. Hey. Patrick Stewart, what in the hell are you talking about? We just started this conversation. What a building plot to farmers. Patrick, I think you've underestimated exactly how insolent I am. Never mind, you haven't underestimated anything. Never mind, you've underestimated everything. Give me that play guy and your toilet paper. Your wrinkly ass don't need it. Hey, how's it going? Listen, I just want to take my daughter to the uh, brand new Shulkirk's movie Gums 3. Is that okay? I can only picture this dude is like, where's your daughter at? And I'm like, she's standing right next to me. And he's like, that's a dog. And I'm like, you racist bastard. That's how you get people to feel sorry for you. Have a good one, buddy. It's actually a pretty good dog. Not gonna lie. Doesn't really do too much. Just kind of follows me around. Every once in a while, I throw some... That is not the dog I have, I just realized. <laughs> Pat the dog. Who's a good boy? Okay, with the power of science, I think that we're finally going to be able to make the throne. Also, we need to name this thing. Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. All right, baby. Give me that throne. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Come on, one more time. Mmm, got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's every... <laughs> it's every bit as good as I always hoped it would be. It's even a little area for you to read your uh, your Play Guy magazines while you're dropping it. Now it works. Hold on, we gotta we gotta use this here. Let me uh let me choke down a couple of uh couple of sandwiches. Get us nice and full of uh, soft serve ice cream. Come right over here. And then here we go. Oh, you sit in everything. Look at that, while the dog stares at you with its lifeless eyes because of a hard day in the streets. Oh cr really? If you freeze, you can't crap no more? You can't do this right now, you're too cold, son of a bitch. Well, I think we did pretty freaking good. You got a toilet? We got a dog, and supposedly there's like a million other things for us to build. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hobo Tough Life. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>